Hi, this is another episode of Why This Franchise. My name is John Wilson, and I have the pleasure of talking to Mark about House Masters Home Inspection. Mark, how are you? I am well, John. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm very excited to uh, be on the channel. Great to have you as well. So we're going to ask you some questions. If you want to, you can share your screen and we can go ahead with this and help people understand how to get a part of, be a part of House Masters. Uh, sure, let me do that. I'll, I'll throw a screen up for you. Uh, try to get the right one here. And it looks like this and share. Um, how's that looking, John? It is looking great. So let me go with the first question is, uh, tell me more about the brand. Yeah, House Master Home Inspection. So, I mean, we are... The, uh, the home inspection industry. Um, I don't say that lightly. We founded the company in 1971. We franchised it in 1979. So 43 years of, of helping people get into uh, an extremely lucrative business um, and, and become successful in it. Uh, and so when we say lucrative, it's a business that's always in demand. Um, in any market, three to 8% of homes are gonna turn over and 85% of them get a home inspection. Um, but it's also a business that um, tends to be very simple, not necessarily easy, but simple from a standpoint of, um, we don't have real estate leases or heavy equipment. Um, we go and do home inspections. Mm -hmm. And uh, so because of that, we tend to run very profitably. We run very high margins, which allows our franchise owners to get started quickly, ramp up to break even quickly and go on to run bigger businesses. Um, and so that's a little bit of, about our space. Okay, so tell me uh, what kind of franchisee are you looking for? What kind of, what kind of people you need to, to be in this business? So um, surprisingly, most people, most of our competition are people who came out of construction or engineering, which makes them really, really talented at the technical side of what we do. Um, but it becomes hard to compete with a company like Housemaster that has uh, 43 years worth of carefully refined processes, um, a full IT department, an executive team that keeps us moving forward, uh, a, 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 a marketing department that's somewhere at around 150 people. We can just provide a better experience to clients. But in order for us to do that, what we need are people who have the soft skills. Um, we can teach home inspection. We've been doing it for 43 years. We have a, a uh, licensing um, training school uh, that, we've, that we've run since, since uh, 1987. Um, what's harder to teach are, are the customer service pieces, um, interacting with clients, um, being able to build relationships, being able to deliver a service at, at a higher level than our competition can or even strives to do. So when we have somebody who has those softer skills, um, someone out of corporate America or uh, quite a few folks come out of uh, military careers, but those types of people, when we can teach them home inspection on top of the soft skills they already have, it makes us very different, very, very, very um, successful in our industry and, and really a standout uh, okay. in the industry. Good, good to know. So let me ask you this, what is the year to year growth within this type of franchise? Um, year to year growth. So our, our average, so yeah. It's such, a, it's such a huge diversification of where people take this, John. Um, most of our owners will start the business by becoming licensed and insured home inspectors. Um, not everybody. Some people will start by hiring somebody day one, but most people will become a home inspector um, and start the business that way, which means that they have a lot of flexibility um, in the business. Well, flexibility in time, first off, because we don't have home inspection emergencies. We aren't doing them all at night. We aren't doing them on holidays. So they sort of work uh, their own schedule. But for, for probably 40% or so of our owners, you know, they, they get up every day and they do two home inspections. They make really good money and they sleep well at night and they enjoy what they do. But the other 60% of our folks go beyond that. They're going to they're going to hire a second inspector and a third inspector. Um, maybe they add a marketing person and an office person. So we have guys uh, in our last FDD, we have guys who are doing $2.2 million in home inspections um, and running really big businesses. But we have guys who are doing, you know, a hundred grand in home inspections, um, but they have fantastic fishing stories and, and an excellent golf swing. And, you know, both of those things are okay. It could be lifestyle or, or just drive it as hard as you want. Um, the average franchisee in our, in our FDD uh, today does uh, just shy of $300,000 in home inspections. Um, but we work, at a, we work at an incredibly high margin. Like they just tend to hold on to a very nice chunk of that money. Um, and you can ramp this up to break even very quickly because it just doesn't take a lot of home inspections to reach the point where you're, you're overcoming our very low overhead. Right, right. So let's talk about how much it costs to get into the franchise. 
can certainly do that. Um, so we publish uh, we publish a startup that's going to run about sixty one to one hundred seven. Um, very very consistently, I see people launch this business um, and have it at break even. Um, for about $75,000. So I, what I'm saying is including your working capital, um, you know, somewhere around 75 grand uh, seems to be the magic number. I mean, if you're gonna buy a brand new F-150 King Ranch, maybe we'll come back and revisit it. But you know, for the most part, you can very comfortably start this business, get through training, licensing, um, functional operation and to break even for about 75,000 total. Uh, most people will do that using an SBA loan or maybe a 401k rollover um, if, uh, if they don't happen to be sitting on, on that kind of funding. Um, but yeah, 75 total. In. So in your industry, what, what makes you stand out, over, out of, from the other franchises that does this kind of business? So, so from a very high level, it's, it's not even it's not even the other franchises, John. It's it's the independents. I mean, this is still an industry that's fragmented. It's still dominated. Most home inspections are being done by a guy with a truck. Right. Nothing wrong with a guy with a truck. But we learned years ago that making a client happy in our industry is not about a home inspection. And I know that sounds a little counterintuitive, um, but doing a good quality home inspection, a thorough home inspection, an honest home inspection delivered without emotion, that's just the base entry. If you're not doing that, get out of the industry. It's what happens beyond that. Um, how we're going to interact with the client, enroll them in the process, um, communicate with them, set appointments, keep those appointments, call before you get there. Um, and then it's the additional things. We've spent a lot of time really understanding what somebody goes through when they're buying a home and getting a home inspection. Um, but part of it is the frustrations beyond the home inspection. Here's an example. Um, home inspectors don't give estimates. They give a home inspection. We really can't give estimates. And what that does for someone who's looking to buy a home is put them in a bind. Um, I know there's some damage on the roof. I don't know what it costs. Um, and we can't tell them. So they're chasing around trying to get estimates, trying to figure it out. What we've done is we've added in uh, a, a program that was written for insurance adjusters that allows our clients to get uh, instantaneous estimates on everything that just happened at, that we just told them was going on at the house. We can do that because it's third party. Uh, we have an exclusive on the software. We're the only ones who do this, but that's just one example of how um, we help our clients beyond just a home inspection. Now I've got estimates on everything about this house. I can make good decisions. Um, well, our team will help them set up utilities if they buy the home. Uh, our team will uh, provide the additional services like the radon and the, um, uh, wood insect and you know, all the other additional services that they need. Uh, we have a call center. When you when you're looking to um, when you're looking to get your home inspected, you want to talk to somebody. Our competition's out there doing home inspections. We're going to pick up the phone. Um, so it's all about the service, the enrollment, um, and we have a 92 net promoter score. Now that may not mean much to you if you don't know net promoter, but it's achieved by somewhere around a quarter of a percent of companies that measure net promoter. We have absolutely cracked the code on how to deliver home inspections to customers in a way that just knocks their socks off. Um, and it's an industry where people don't expect customer service. Well, there you have it. Mark, thank you so very much. I tell you, if you want to look into this particular franchise, go ahead and contact me in the details. And you can also contact Mark directly as well. And when you do so, let him know that you saw him here on the YouTube channel. I thank you very much, Mark. Thank you so very much for your time. Thank you, John. I really appreciate it.